The hood is a rustic kind of looking hood that has a bell curve in two directions. So it curves this way and it also curves this way. So we wanted to use a weathered um, sort of copper look and accentuate that with these heavy ribs which are about 8 inch metal. At the same time the hood does a lot of work. Um, tucked up inside of it is a stainless steel vent unit that takes about 1400 CFM out the roof. Uh, so this is actually ducted all the way up through the roof and then uh, that's a lot of air actually. That's about uh, almost the equivalent of three tons of air conditioning. You don't want to just blow that out through the roof. Uh, it's pretty expensive to to heat the house and cool the house if that's going to be just going out the roof. So what we do is we actually bring in makeup air just slightly less. So we bring in about 900 CFM down the wall and out this sort of very uh, uh, not very noticeable slit that's coordinated to fit right under the hood. So we've got makeup air coming in and we've got uh, exhaust air going out just slightly less uh, coming in than going out so that you won't get uh, cooking vapors blowing in, and it works really, really well. It also um, has some other characteristics. If you don't have that, uh, you'll actually draw the smoke from a fireplace into the room, uh, going in sort of the wrong direction. It's not a good situation. So anyway, that's one of the functional characteristics of stuff. To fabricate the piece, we start with some technical drawings that are illustrating um, all the different characteristics of it. So here's the radius the formwork which is going to be made out of wood by the cabinet maker and we show that in two dimensions. We also have to coordinate that this is the, the hood insert piece that's the ductwork going up to the ceiling. And here's a quick three-dimensional sketch that shows how the um, sort of a riveted look of the heavy metal pieces is going to work out. And then we show a detail of the custom uh, rope moldings that are getting put together and uh, assembled to make the final piece. This is the rough hood that was um, as it arrived from the cabinet maker. So what we had the cabinet maker do was use those drawings, um, make the trim piece, and then also laminate onto a plywood form, uh, actually brass, not copper, um, sheeting. And the reason is because copper is really difficult to get in those angled forms that we showed for the corners. So here's the piece ready for some uh, additional work on the site. I had the cabinet maker also provide uh, a corner template piece which matches the corner of the hood. And the idea of this piece was to be able to give this to a metal fabricator to be able to fabricate to that curve so we could pound on the metal and sort of form it without damaging the beautiful uh, brass um, that was on the, the hood itself. So this is a template piece that we use to provide to the metal worker. To give the hood richness and depth, we went with lots of layers of patina and we started with this sort of striped uh, effect and kept layering on many more layers so that that would be just a little bit irregular, not a uniform look. And so you'll see how that works out. And here's Leonard Vasily doing a brilliant job patinaing these things. Uh, the guys are trim carpenters, but they really like this challenge and uh, got right into it. So here you can see we would actually put it on and then use a steel wool to kind of give it a little bit of warmth and depth. And, and that's actually the close to the finished product, but you could see we were looking at just a couple of little highlights that didn't look right, so we got a couple layers more to go. A couple more layers of patina and installation is complete and we're really pleased with the way it's worked out. It's a, it's a gorgeous piece.